Thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semi Dolls. In this video, I want to make a quick update about where I get all my supplies and materials for making dolls and all my projects. I already made a video a while ago, but some of the links are not um, active anymore. And also, I added a few things here. So, I have, over the last two days, I've been busy making this site here called Supplies and Tools. You can find it on the website under Supplies. I would love to have doll making kits available that you can just purchase in my shop and purchase it along with the pattern and then just make the dolls. Unfortunately, shipping from Australia is incredibly expensive and I'm just not comfortable um, charging <laughs> my customers that much money for shipping. So I hope that um, with the links that I'm providing, you can find all the supplies where you live. I'm hoping that one day I'll be able to find a way to offer those kits. But for now, I made this site here on my website. And I'm starting off with the fabrics, so you can find all the fabrics. There are a few links here, all this doll skin and stockinette or the tubing for the head. There are a few links here in Europe, Australia, the USA, and just universal websites. And then the sewing thread. So it's really important that you have this thread that matches the doll skin color. So I listed all the colors that I'm using here, which um, doll skin color I use with, with which sewing thread. Here are some links for stuffing materials. The traditional method for stuffing those Waldorf and Waldorf inspired dolls is sheep's wool, but I'm only using plant fibers. So I listed all these here. And the same applies to doll hair, the yarn and wefts and the blushing, the cheeks and everything. I'm just using plant-based or um, synthetic materials. And then here is the embroidery floss, the string to tie the head, a little explanation about the interfacing and some information here, some links where you can look up about the different types of interfacing. Eventually I'm going to make a video about all that different interfacing as well, but that takes a little bit of preparation and I really want to have some examples here that I can show you. So that will take a little while before I do that. But for now, here are a few useful links that you can look at and some examples of the different interfacings that I'm using. And then last but not least, the tools that I'm using. I already made a video about that where I'm explaining all the different tools that I'm using that make life as a doll maker a little bit easier. And I listed all the tools that I'm using here so you can purchase them for yourself. That's it for now for me. You can check out this um, page on my website. I'm going to link it down below in the video description. And I hope this will make life a lot easier for you when you want to make one of the dolls or follow my online tutorials. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you very soon. Bye! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. Please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe for more videos. And if you want to support me, head on over to my website and have a look at my patterns. The link for the website is down below in the video description. I'm really grateful to your support. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!